April 20th, also known as 420. And normally the 420 festival would have this field at Sunset Beach in downtown Vancouver filled with people smoking, selling, and celebrating all things cannabis. But this year, the party has moved from the waterfront to the web. The celebration is a little more mellow this time around. Hey, we're missing like 40, 50,000 people, so. Physical distancing measures have prevented hundreds of thousands of pot smokers from rolling their way downtown like they've done for the past 25 years. 420 is about gathering in person, but 420 is also about a spirit that's in all of our hearts. And we're going to do our best to maintain that spirit on the internet and people can all celebrate together. And uh, we're not going to let this uh, Grinch virus ruin our cannabis Christmas for us. I'm going to light a joint. The virtual festival, a joint effort between cannabis advocates across Canada, celebrating 4.20 p.m. in each province, beginning in Newfoundland. Really thrilled to be part of this with you guys back east. That's awesome. And ending in B.C. If you got a I love you all. The usual Sunset Beach celebration was officially cancelled last month. A profitable day for many unlicensed vendors gone up in smoke. There's definitely uh, people who are very upset that it's been cancelled, although we all understand why that has to be. Thousands tuned in to the live stream throughout the day, much to the thrill of organizers who believe the so-called protestable is still relevant, even though pot is now legal. I mean, this should be subsidized and encouraged throughout our society. It, it displaces the use of alcohol and harmful other drugs and pharmaceuticals and things. So, yeah, we're, we're a long way from getting there. From a live DJ to giveaways, the live stream went off smoothly. The only setbacks were technical. Can you hear me in the booth? Minor issues compared to the permit problems and pushback from city officials the unsanctioned event is accustomed to. It'd be nice to go back to normal and be arguing just about the grass at Sunset Beach and not about the more serious issues that we're all concerned with right now. And really, to me, it puts things in perspective a little bit. While Sunset Beach is calm and quiet this year, it seems the days of butting heads with the city are not over yet. We will definitely be back next year. In Vancouver, Travis Prasad, City News.